Hello, welcome back to Maker Hacks and the 12 days of Makesmas. Now we are on day six and what we are gonna cover is a Kirigami card, but we're also gonna light it up with one of these little electronic tea lights that you can get from the dollar store. Don't use a regular tea light with this. That's paper, it will light on fire. Use something like this. If this is your first time here, do not forget to hit subscribe. Also hit the like button if you found this video useful and feel free to leave any comments or ideas down below in the comment section. Now let's get started. What we are going to need today is a printout of these two pieces. There will be a link down below and you can download this for yourself. If you want to do a different pattern, that's fine. You can design something up yourself and or Look up Kirigami cards online. Kirigami is not just folding paper, but it's also cutting paper. So staying with the cutting method, we are gonna need something to cut with. We're gonna need some glue. We're gonna need the dollar store little um, candles. Now with something like this, please, please, please do not use a regular tea light. It will burn your house down with this thing. Not my intention. Another thing that we can use is a ballpoint pen, but or an embosser. So, um, I don't have a ballpoint pen, but I'm sure you'll get the idea. Is is that there's certain lines here, like this center line here, that needs to be dented, and it works better when you're trying to fold these things if you dent the line. So, to give you an example, let's move this off to the side. We'll grab a ruler, and we're just going to come here and we are going to dent certain lines with the embosser. So you just press fairly hard and you leave like a nice crease. And if you look on the back here, you can see when I give it a fold, or it'll automatically fold quite nicely right along that crease. Having some problems with focus here. So it'll fold right along that crease. There's certain things that we need to know that we have to cut and we need to do the embossing for. So let's do the embossing first, seeing as we've already done that, is all these outside lines on both sides need to be embossed. And to be completely honest, you don't have to emboss, but it truly does make your life much, much easier by doing this. So now we've got all of these lines embossed. We've got that center line embossed. We are gonna have to do some embossing on this sheet as well, along the center line, all the way through, and also on these two outside lines. So let's just emboss those two. I'm gonna use the larger ruler. And we'll score down along that line. Okay, so now we've got all the embossing done, now we need to do all the cutting. Again, if you use your ruler, it works out really well, but I'm going to risk freehanding it here. And you can see there's certain lines. You do not cut that line, and you do not cut that line. So, what ends up happening is, is now that we've got this cut, we're gonna fold this guy out, so we're just gonna do a uh, mountain fold and we're going to do a valley fold here and you'll notice that those two other embossed areas are going to come down so now we have this and the reason for that guy is that you can put your tea late and have it sit right down on top of there Let's see if we can get this to work properly just like that now sometimes this will pop out a little too far, which I think it kind of does right now. So what you can do is you can just shorten this down. Maybe I will do that in the PDF. When you get the PDF, this will have been corrected for you. So like I said, when you download the PDF, it will be corrected so you don't have to deal with that little bit of finagling. We'll get that off to the side. And now the next thing is is to cut. Now with these cuts, 
you only want to do the bottom parts of these little tree segments. Last thing we need to do is glue these two pieces together so that if you look in the bottom when it folds up, you see this guy here, that's where you're going to put the tea light. So the best thing that I found to do this with is just a little glue stick. And what I generally do is just try to match up the seams because sometimes these cards don't fold perfectly in the center and then press it down. Put this in a corner, turn on that light so it starts glowing. There you have it, how to make a Kirigami card. Put a little tea light into it, not a regular tea light, electric tea light, don't want to burn your house down. Make something really cool that you can throw onto a table at night time, or into a corner in a room, maybe take some easy stick tape here and place that up in the corner of a room. Don't forget to hit like and leave any questions that you have down below. Thanks, I'll talk to you guys in a day. Take the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la.